ladies and gentlemen, I am most honored to... <clears throat> As I was saying, I am most... I am most... most <sighs> what? I'm hungry. So I attended a crane workshop at Choron on October 23rd. And I think the best part was when they each gave us a bag of rice. What, you've never gotten rice as a gift before? Oh, you're missing out. Bird experts from all over the world gathered to present their findings, discoveries, plans, and more. I learned so much that day. Like the surprising fact that power lines pose a fatal threat to cranes. I thought power lines were like nice park benches for birds. But as it turns out, power lines are hard to see. Especially from high up in the sky at dawn or dusk as they come down to end their migration. Their high-speed collisions result in broken bones and or death, sometimes electrocution. Man, that's like running a marathon only to get killed by the finish line. Why did the good die young? Learning all these amazing facts was great, but I hadn't had a lot of sleep during the past few days, and listening to presentations for five hours can make you quite sleepy. So during a coffee break, when everyone else was introducing themselves and exchanging business cards, I did this. I'm sorry. The next day, we all went crane watching as a group. And on that very day, after two whole weeks of sunshine and clear skies, it decided to rain. And it was foggy. Luckily, we discovered a whole rice paddy filled with hundreds of white-nipped cranes. Look at them! They're so beautiful and happy. They'll probably sleep here as well. But wait, Toaster, why are they sleeping in the water? Good question! Why don't you go oh! and find out? Oh, this is why. <laughs> Water serves as a great alarm system. And we need a lot of personal space. Thank you so much for watching my video. We really appreciate it. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm sorry it took all eternity to get this video done. I hope everybody had a Merry Christmas and a fantastic start to the new year. I was juggling so many different projects in December that this video took four weeks longer than anticipated to complete. Somebody please teach me how to shadow clone myself! Thank you very much to the Amazing who voiced the vulnerable white named Crane. You should go check out his channel because he made a video that mentions kidnapping and cooking endangered animals. Yeah. <laughs> there are only 7,000 of these birds left on Earth, Moss. Don't do this! Also, big thank you to Dr. George Archibald and Spike Millington from the International Crane Foundation for teaching me so much about cranes and answering all of my questions. Last but not least, thank you, DMZ Institute, for letting me come to this special event. I hope to spread laughter and awareness through my videos. If you like that combination, you are totally going to want to hit that red subscribe button down there. Okay, I need to go work on the next video now. Bye!